Hey, what's up guys? So we are playing some um, Insectors. Um, we opened it up a little bit strange, but I think I can deal with that. So uh, if I summon this, that'll basically make him use the Art of Super Transformation. Um, what other options do I have? I, I could lose a Trigodia. I'd rather lose a Cyber Dragon um, than losing a Trigodia. So I'm going to go with that. I'm be like, attack! And he'll probably be like, Art of Super Transformation! And I'll be like, no! And let's see what he summons, actually, because uh, depending on what he summons... Okay, so he's going for that card. Um, I'm trying to think, will he summon next turn? Because next turn I'll be at 3,000 with my Trigodia after I draw. So, end turn. <laughs> uh, and I'll probably to be taking some damage, which is totally fine with me. And then I drop the Trigodia. And it'll be at 5,000. Or 3,000, sorry. I wish it was at 5,000. I'll have five cards in my hand. Um, I'm glad I didn't set the Tarantula, because I was like, well, he could summon a monster, but then I'd be kind of uh, out for a while. So, I don't know, I've, I've seen a lot of people try ninjas, and the deck works pretty good, like, with this card is just so good, um, especially with a card that is like auto plus one, uh, it just adds so much quick advantage into the game. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get over this, let's get over the white dragon ninja. Wow, that was really easy, I expected that to be a lot harder to do. Um, and pretty much from here, I could summon Torgai go for a Sangan, but then that will reduce my Trigodia's, uh, what is that, does that actually stay on the field, I guess? Uh, oh, just when this card leaves the field, banish that monster. Oh, okay, gotcha. Alright, so I'm thinking I'm going to go Torgai Sangan so I can set up, might as well. But I, I, I want to keep this track, like, strong while I can. But the thing is, if I go Torgai and the, like, Torrential. Yeah, let's go with this. Oh, this is actually in main phase too. Can't summon during the battle phase. Unless you're me. So you say effects good? He says yes. So we're gonna go for Sangin. And where's Sangin? Oh, the very bottom. I would have drawn that for a long time. Uh, and uh, I could I could set the torrential, but then that makes it tribe like even lower. Because if he summons Hanzo, I, I definitely want to get rid of Hanzo. Because he can get rid of anything. Not that it really matters. Huh, we'll just end it right there. We'll see how this plays off. And maybe I'll regret it later, but that's okay. We'll worry about that later if it happens. Because um, Trag is just really good against a lot of de different decks. It's just the art of transformation. Oh, there's, this card's actually pretty good. Um, you get to destroy a face up in Jitsu Art, and he gets to uh, draw two cards. So. It's pretty good. That's like a plus one, I would say. Because, you, oh, this card's already a plus one. This card's amazing. Um, especially when you get it for free with Hanzo. I guess he doesn't have anything. I expected to Hanzo. Because uh, Hanzo is a pretty good card. Uh, end turn, end turn. Oh, wow, really? Didn't expect that. I can tribute Sangin for Cyber Dragon. I don't think I'll do that. Um, I feel like I can get in some damage right now. Why not? If I get Mayor Force, well, Dark Arm Dragon. <laughs> uh, Plus I get a search out. Oh, Fiendish Chain. Oh, I don't really like that card, because now I have zero attack. <laughs> Unfortunate for me to run into. What could be the face down card? Well, I really don't know. <laughs> that said, I almost don't want to attack. I'm trying to think of what, what you'd set in ninjas. What does this one have for defense? It's a thousand. I really want to know what it is. I want to know what ninjas actually set. It's gonna be like a marshmallow or something, like a spear reaper. Oh. Target one trap card. Oh. That's unfortunate. That's a mandatory effect. <laughs> wow, that's. What did I attack with? I think I attacked with Tour Guide, so I'll attack with that. See, that, that is one bad thing with this ninja card. Uh, I do actually like this card because it's a light, so it works with Honest. And so, I mean, if he's two, I'm going to set Torrential Tribute because Trigodia now has zero attack and it's very vulnerable. And uh, I can lose Sangan into a guide. They want to go to the graveyard, in fact, because that allow me to search a Dragonfly. I can Foolish Burrow a Horn. Uh, my player in the blue still doesn't know what I'm playing, so um, I actually could go for an Exceed too next turn. I'm just going to go for Hanzo. And we're going to go for Torrential. 
Uh, he still gets his effect, though, which is fine with me. As long as he doesn't have a ninja, that's fine with me. Um, I mean, you can tell still technically special on ninja, but it's just because Fragodia is really weak, um, and uh, I would rather not take the 18 while well, I don't have to. And on top of that, he can add the super poly uh, art of super transformation. Oh, well, this was different. What? That it's actually not that bad. Any number of ninja? What? Any number? That? Oh. With combined levels less than or equal to. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, I get my Sangin effect. Okay, so we get our Sangin effect. And we will search out Dragonfly to my hand. He's gonna leave his field completely blank. Does that reveal Gores? Well, Dark Arm doesn't care about Gores. Oh, that's not bad either. Centipede's pretty good. Um, I could go for a uh, an Exceed if I wish. Uh, flourishing that and go for it. Exceed. I don't feel like I need to. I just feel like I just. Even though, like, Dark Arm's kind of, like, a good card, I have Centipede and Dragonfly. Like, I have a lot of good cards. Plus, I mean, if he's going to Super Poly... I keep on saying Super Poly. It's our Super Transformation. Uh, it won't really hurt that much. I'd rather have him get rid of my Dark Arm than an Insector Play, because Insector Play nets pretty good advantage as well. Plus, I have I have so many options. I think I'm going to go with this. Because um, if he drops Gores, I really don't even care. <laughs> Not that Insectors even care about Gores. He's checking. He's like, oh, he's got three. Because if I summon, like, Centipede or anything like that, I could have potentially... Uh, I don't just want to set... No, I shouldn't set Foolish. I don't want him to know what I'm playing yet. It doesn't look like I'm playing Insectors, <laughs> which is kind of cool. With the, I don't know if you want to call this Chaos Insectors, but uh, I am playing one Chaos Sorcerer because Chaos Sorcerer, uh, apparently on that list that everyone knows about, um, it will be at one. So I played one Chaos Sorcerer. Um, setting is very bad idea against Dark Armed. I think he realized that he's like, oh no. But like, this card in Ninjas is just, I feel like this, this is their best card. And like, unfortunately, like, they have Hanzo which searches it out, which is good. Um, which helps the deck out, but like, it's, it's a good deck, but it's one of those decks where I feel like you just have to go first. Um, so I guess maybe he doesn't have anything. Interesting. I like this card. I think this card isn't there a card. I believe if you, if you guys want to talk about, it's called Magic Planner. I think it's just send one continuous uh, trap. That way, it allows you to send Phoenix Train. The thing was, uh, he didn't want to flip up and um, destroy a um, his own Phoenix Chain because then Trigodia could attack. So uh, I mean, he had to activate the Super Transformation, otherwise he would have lost this. I think. I mean, Cyber Dragon's not a card that. You need to be afraid of, because this this answers literally every monster. I guess he's deciding he doesn't want to set. Oh, okay. He's gonna set super transformation. Okay. So we're we're going to use activator effect. Vanish. Oh, am I gonna get super super transformation? No. What's this card? Three of a kind. What card activates a ninja that's three? Is that is that three monsters? Huh. Well, banish this because I get about love here and it's pretty good. I want to make sure my insector play can go out safe. If I even want to go for that, that is. It's gonna change. It's, it's gonna be the. It's gonna be the super transformation. Oh, what is this one? Okay. Um. You can only get one monster out, I think. Yeah, you can only get one. That card seems pretty good. It's interesting. Because I like how, how you can you can tribute one of the ninjas and then special on a whole bunch of these low levels. Yeah, can I say face down? You can set it in face down. That's pretty good. Oh, I was just going to summon card. Tribute. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's game. Unless he has Battle Fader. Which now I have more darks, yes. I was on my tour guides, <laughs> but it's fine. Yeah. Interesting. I felt like um, he kind of activated our super transformation. Oh, I spent life. How do you see on three monsters? 
Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. So it actually wasn't really a ninja deck. So his idea was to spark summon a whole bunch of ninjas. That, that's actually pretty cool. Okay. I got his deck. I want to make this deck. I'm going to make this deck. So what he does, that's pretty cool. So, so what he does for his slifer is he uh, tributes one ninja, usually probably like, uh, I'm, I'm thinking Grandmaster Hanzo. So he'll tribute Hanzo. He can then get four ninjas. And then uh, when they flip, they each have like, you know, destroy a back row. But one of them, uh, the Crimson Ninja destroys the uh, set. Uh, well, it, it, they each can destroy set. It's just, uh, if it's a face down, you can kind of check it out. That's really good. Because then you can pop all the back row, get out Slifer, because Slifer can't be negated anyways. But it allows you just to pop back row to get like advantage. I like that. That's pretty interesting. It seems cool. I th You know what? I'm going to make this deck later on. It seems cool. I like the. T I like that. <laughs> I'm going to tell my... Is it, is it high spell cipher? That's pretty good. I like that. It doesn't even have like a like a negative cost. I don't even get like, destroyed at the end phase or anything. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna make that right now. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Agent Dragon signing out.